A week into 2024 and we are already seeing a lot of discounts on the Switch eShop. Today I have 10 games for you all covering the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. I like this week a lot as well. A mix of genres from action to fighters to RPGs. So if you do enjoy the video, subscribe and remember to drop a comment down below for your chance to win one or two $10 eShop gift cards in next week's video. We'll also be announcing the winners from last week's video here shortly today. Now kicking off the week then, we have No Man's Sky, it is back with a 50% discount, matching its lowest price on this. It's an incredible sci-fi adventure featuring an endless universe, really it doesn't need an introduction, but the game's main highlight for me is the freedom it offers, allowing players to chart their own path and play in their own unique way. You know, for many, the appeal lies not in the story, but in the exploration, survival, crafting, and the discovery of new planets. Now, admittedly, this game was a disappointment when it first launched on PlayStation. However, the developers have consistently released updates since then, transforming it into one of the most impressive experiences available. I share a similar sentiment regarding the Switch version. You know, despite the hardware limitations, the developers managed to make it work on the platform. And yes, there are occasional frame rate issues and the visuals, they are not as sharp. But the experience of exploring this universe in handheld mode is just something truly special. My favourite aspect of the game is hopping into a ship, leaving a planet and then seamlessly landing on another. Kogan Sword of Rewind is back with a 50% discount matching its lowest price. I enjoyed this one. It's a great pick for fans of fast-paced action platformers reminiscent of games like Mega Man or Gunfault. However, do be warned, this is not an easy game. Now, the story kicks off as you awaken in this unfamiliar world, and your first encounter is a talking sword. The primary objective is to unravel the mysteries of this world, and the unique twist in Kogan is that you can only take one hit before dying. So if you do get hit, you now have the option to rewind time by three seconds, allowing you to retry a section or battle. Now there is a cooler down timer too, so death remains a genuine threat, and this game is well worth a look, you know, just for those who enjoy a good challenge. Multi Blood Type Lumina is currently available with a 50% discount. Now, I featured this game in my top fighters for the Switch list. You'll find that linked in the pinned comment. Interestingly, it's a spin off from a romantic visual novel, but as a fighting game, it offers a total of 14 fighters in the base game with more available fire paid DLC. Now, the story mode is where the game blends its visual novel roots, diving into each character's backstory. And this aspect honestly didn't really resonate with me, but I found the core fighting mechanics to be excellent and the visuals they are stunning. Additionally, the game includes online play, a gallery, and even some customization options. Killer Frequency is now available at a new low price, 50% off. Now, this game was initially designed for VR before being adapted for other platforms. And to be honest, my only gripe is really that you can still notice its VR roots in those controls. They can feel a little awkward and stiff at times, especially when directing movement. Now, despite this, I had a great time at playing through it. The storyline, it's centered around a mysterious killer who was basically reappeared in a nostalgically crafted 90s slasher scenario. Now, with the police out of town seeking help, you step into the role of a radio host. Your main task is to field calls from panicked townsfolk and guide them to safety. The game features a great sense of humor and a really unique cast. And yeah, basically, you're just trying to keep the radio show operating normally while figuring out how to help those in need. For more details, check out my review in the pinned comments. The Jota Collection Bundling in Other Waters and Citizen Sleeper is now available at a new low price of 58% off. Now, both games, they are from the same creator and are fantastic in their own right. Now, this discount is even better than the combined low prices when these titles were individually on sale. In Other Waters might be an acquired taste, as I've detailed in my full review in the pinned comments, but it's a beautifully crafted exploration adventure game set on this alien world where you search for your friend. The visuals are unique as well, resembling a radar screen, and yet it's generally well received, though again it appeals more to those who enjoy slow burn experiences. 
Citizen Sleeper, on the other hand, is a masterpiece in my opinion. I'm planning to feature it in several upcoming lists on my channel. It will first appear in my video about anime influence games, followed then by the best sci-fi games on the Switch, probably as well in my top 10 must-play Switch titles. However, I want to be transparent that its genre might not be for everyone. It is a tabletop-inspired narrative RPG set on a ruined space station. You play as a sleeper, a digital human in an artificial body, fighting for freedom from corporate ownership. The game focuses on survival, building alliances, navigating factions, and securing your future. Gameplay then revolves around dice-based actions, creating a uniquely engaging experience, and it's complemented by an incredible soundtrack. Nightmare Reaper is a game I've been playing recently, and while I haven't completed it yet, it's made a strong impression. This retro-styled shooter blends elements of looter shooters and then it's also important to note it is a roguelite with consistent progression as you do play your level up and add upgrades to your lead using in-game gold. What stands out most is the sheer number of options available. There are over 80 unique weapons, various enchantments and multiple modes to explore. Also, the soundtrack is banging, just adding to the overall experience. Most importantly then as well, the gunplay feels heavy and satisfying. That is what you want from a shooter. And yeah, I think fans of the genre should definitely give Nightmare Reaper a look, especially now that it's available at a new low price of 50% off. Doomsday Hunters is my pickup for the week. I know the guys at Switch Up liked it, but as always, that means it's not a recommendation. Rather, maybe you'll want to join me for the ride. But I've been eager to check this one out. This game is a roguelike twin stick shooter that blends gunplay with magic in this post apocalyptic setting. The premise is really unique as well. Earth has vanished, and now we're left in a world overrun with monsters featuring altered physics, which adds definitely this unique twist. I presume at least to the gameplay. Looking forward to diving into this one, it boasts procedural generation, an impressive array of over 160 enemies and more than 1200 items. The abundance of items there just hints at like a huge opportunity for experimentation, which is something I always like to see. Currently then it's available with a 30% discount matching its lowest price, and yeah I actually intended to pick this up during the last sale, got sidetracked, missed out, so I'm really happy to see it discounted again. Our first winner of the week then is XA who highlighted Crisis Core, congrats on the win XA, drop me an email for the code everyone else, we do have a second winner coming up here shortly in the video. Shadows Over Loathing is the sequel to West of Loathing and it is just as impressive. It's an RPG featuring the unique stickman style that fans have come to love along with a surprisingly deep range of mechanics. The standout feature of this series though is its humour which is absolutely spot on and perfectly integrated with its story. Now in this sequel the storyline involves basically visiting an uncle who has mysteriously disappeared, leading you into this investigation. The game unfolds with elements reminiscent of Lovecraft, and it's all really centered around this apocalyptic narrative. You know, there's gonna be a huge amount of locations to visit and explore so you can stop the world from ending. Both entries in the series then come highly recommended for their unique style, humor, and just fantastic gameplay. This one, it's now available at 30% off a new low price. Fowers was one of the early games released for the Switch. In fact, I think it was in the first week after the console's launch. It was only playable at that time as well in touchscreen mode, but it has since been updated to support duct play as well. Personally, I still stick to playing it on touchscreen. I find it's the best way to enjoy it, but it's always going to be good to see options. Now, the game originated as an iOS title filled with microtransactions. Now, fortunately, with those you know, transactions, when it transitioned to the Switch, they did remove them. So now it's just a feature-rich rhythm game with over 100 songs. Yes, the artist might be somewhat obscure, but I personally really liked it. It also includes challenges and a story mode about making it in the music industry. Additionally, the lane-based gameplay is surprisingly challenging here, and then it is 60% off, matching the low price. While I'm on the topic of music games as well, I'd also like to mention quickly Korg Gadget, which is currently 50% off. Haven't played it myself, but I've heard it was well received. It effectively turns your Switch into a digital audio workstation, which is a great concept for musicians. Our second winner then is Mikey, who is about to pick up Hades. That is highly recommended from me. Congrats on the win, Mikey. Email me for the code and everyone else. Drop a comment down below for your chance in next week's video. Shinobi Non Grata then is the last game today. It is a fairly recent release and a must try for fans of games like Ninja Gaiden. Now the story is surprisingly more involved than you might expect. It centers around a clan that has formed an alliance with demons to destroy the government 
and your role here is to thwart their plans. Now this game is quite challenging, but it's enhanced with modern features like the ability to switch between seven different weapons. I really enjoy that because it just allows for experimentation in that combat. My only real issue with Shinobi Nangrata is that it lacks substantial replay value. There isn't really a huge amount of content here to return to once you have completed it. Now for a more in-depth look, you can find my full review in the pinned comments, but I do think retro game fans should definitely consider giving it a try, especially now that it's available at a new low price, 20% off. A shout out then to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel, it means a whole lot. And if you do want to check out the Patreon, I'll be linking that down below. Gonna be changing up the format there for the new year. Never gave it enough attention transparently, but now we are going to weekly updates, polls, and also 24 hour early access to videos where possible. And that is the video down. What will you be checking out this week? Let us know in the comments then. Hit subscribe, join us here for reviews, deals, news and lists daily. And I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.